not everyone wants a pool or a pond and that's okay because today a customer wants to add a water feature into his low maintenance backyard now you may ask uh david why is this yard so low maintenance it's because his yard is all artificial turf and by adding a pondless waterfall it's basically one of the lowest maintenance water features besides maybe a fountain that you can get so it's time to start cutting back some turf which will lay down again up to the edge of the waterfall once it's all in and it will look seamless. Now this dirt square is where we're putting our basin and aqua blocks. So we gotta dig about a two feet hole and then finish our retaining wall. These are aqua blocks and the basin where the water is gonna be housed so it keeps running. We just now have to level out the ground and get a good solid foundation for it. We'll still have to add a pond liner, underlayment, plumbing, but that's pretty simple, so let's get to that. We still have our rocks set off to the side. Each one of these rocks can be used in so many different ways. One could be a spillway rock or just along the edge or put it in the middle so that you get a separation of water in your stream or waterfall. But now it's the next day. Time to rock in this waterfall and we got plenty of cobble to lay on the bottom and up by the retaining wall. This project right now is only gonna take two days, hopefully, which is amazing. We now also have a cool rock for each drop. So Brian was able to find some super cool rocks for uh, the water coming off the top of the spillway. And then the second drop was really cool. Our customer wanted it so low maintenance that in the top of the retaining wall, he didn't even want any dirt exposed to be able to plant uh, any sort of thing. He wants succulent, something easy. Nope, not for him. And that's completely okay. The waterfall is undoubtedly the most beautiful and favored feature in a water garden. If space is lacking in your yard or you have safety concerns with a pond, go with a pondless. The name basically explains it all. It's a waterfall and a stream without a pond. So why would you want a waterfall without a pond? The truth is, is that a pondless waterfall isn't for everyone, but it can be a great alternative to someone who isn't quite sure if a pond is right for them or their family. So we're out of California, the Bay Area. If you guys would like to reach out to us, just give us a call at least, and we would love to talk over water features. Even if you have questions about your water feature, we'll be willing to answer them. So thank you all. Have a great day. Remember, your dream is our passion. See ya.